everyone welcome back to upside down disney if you're new here my name is jess and today i have my beauty and the beast cake worthy all over print tee on and my bell of the ball bronze mouse ears on because we are unboxing some of these disney princess beauty and the beast uh mystery pins that have come out recently so i went up to one of the malls in new jersey that was having a disney store close um because there was another wave of closures announced and all the stores were closing by the 16th of June. So last weekend, my partner and I went with their family up to one of those malls to kind of shop around and see what they had. They really did not have very much left. Um, I got a couple of Baby Yoda plushes from that like limited release set that had like the matching pins. And then I got a little Captain Hook Funko figurine from the Disneyland 65th. Um, nothing good, nothing worth hauling really. Um, just some things I picked up just because they were all 50% off and then I got more of a discount if I use my Disney Visa, so nothing really worth calling there. But I did get some of these mystery pins up in Hot Topic up there, so I wanted to unbox these um, on the channel because I love a good mystery unboxing. I'm sure you guys love a good mystery unboxing. It's just a good time. So these are the Beauty and the Beast ones. I guess they're for the 30th anniversary this year, um, and they are Loungefly pins, so they just have the Disney Princess little Loungefly box. And then on the sides is actually where all of the um, options are because the back has all the copyright information and all of these little like warnings and stuff that Loungefly has now started including on their pins and stuff. So here are all of the options that we can get. So we have Cogsworth, Chip, and Belle. And these all look like they're on like little plates or something is really the vibe it's giving me like because they have the same kind of pattern as like mrs potts and chips so i feel like they're supposed to be on like the china in the castle maybe i'm wrong i don't know and there's like little cute rose details all over them too so super adorable um pins and i love the little art style it's just like the super cutesy art i don't know i, I love these i think that they're so weird and unique but cool and then we also have Lumiere, Mrs. Potts, and the Beast. If my camera would focus on them and the ring light wouldn't blind you, there we go. So we also have Lumiere, Mrs. Potts, and the Beast. So I got six boxes, but they were all like in these little bins up at the front register in this Hot Topic. And so I, there was no way to know if I was getting, you know, sometimes you can tell like based on like the, like the manager at my Hot Topic, we'll put them out as sets and then we'll put them out kind of like just take them right out of the box and just hang them up on the rack so then that way they're like in the order that they were in the box and you can kind of figure out how to get a full set that way um couldn't do that here because they were all just kind of mixed in and thrown around so we're gonna just start opening and see which ones we get but i do want all of these i do have a beauty and beast pin collection so i will be happy with any ones we get so first box first pull let's see who we get lounge fly bags mystery pin bags always come with these little perforated edges so they're super easy to just rip open unlike the shop disney ones and wow these are bigger pins than i thought they would be okay just from like feeling the the thing they're also all the same round shape so we can't tell which one's which just by feeling it but like just from picking up the bag i can like there's a huge bit in here all right let's see who we get we got chip Okay, so I love Chip so much. Him and Mrs. Potts are like some of the Beauty and the Beast characters that I have the most pins for, I think. Um, just because they're so cute and I love their relationship. Like, I just, like, they're just so cute. Mrs. Potts is like mom goals. <laughs> she makes me think of my own mom. So, definitely love that. I love the different colors in the roses, like the different shades of like pinks and reds. I love, yeah, this is definitely supposed to be like a dinner plate or something, I think. I don't know, or maybe just a nice frame, but either way. I love the cute little blush on Chip's cheeks. And these are like decent sized pins. Like this is my palm, this is the pin. This is the pin compared to the Star Wars ice cream pins I unboxed a few unboxings ago. So yeah, definitely um, very nice sized pins, bigger than I thought they would be on the box. Like I guess because the box has them looking so small, like when you're looking at the options, like you just think they're just gonna be these like tiny little pins. So I'm impressed. <laughs> and then on the back, you have the launch like crown waffling and all the logos and copyrights and stuff. And a nice little gold finish on these pins as well. Okay, pin number two, let's see who we pulled. 
I also think I grabbed like the last six there. So we'll see who we get for this second one. And we got another chip. So already getting a double box number three. Let's see who we get. hoping for not another chip and we got Lumiere there he is it looks like he's dancing and singing be our guest super cute I also have a couple Lumiere and Cogsworth pins so so excited to add him to my collection in number four and another Lumiere <laughs> Box number five, hopefully this one is not either a chip or a Lumiere. Hopefully since we got like doubles and then doubles, there's not like a triple in each set. So hopefully this should be a unique one now. <laughs> Watch we get like doubles of whoever this is this time. All right, pin number five. Oh my God, a third Lumiere. And I thought that was impossible. Let's see who we get for box number six. Last one. This is going to be a quick but awful unboxing today. Just please be a unique one. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. Whew. Okay, we got Cogsworth. So we got a unique one. So now I have a Lumiere and a Cogsworth and we have Chip and then hopefully I can trade all my doubles for Mrs. Pox, Belle, and the Beast. But yeah, Cogsworth is super cute. Again, I love the blush on these. I love the little art style. Super cute. All right, so that is all that I have for today's unboxing. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on these Beauty and the Beast pins. I was super shocked by the size of the pins, um, but super happy with the art style and everything. I absolutely love it. I think it's super adorable and unique. Um, it's just a really cool take on all of these characters. So I am super obsessed with this set and hoping that I can trade my doubles for the rest of the pins needed to complete this set. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you can come get stuck in the upside down with me again soon. As always, I hope that you are all having a magical day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.